Hello class 6, how are you all? I know that you people are very bored sitting idle at home because now we cannot go to school due to COVID-19. We are bound to stay back at home. Now, in this scenario, as physical interaction is not possible and I cannot meet you people physically, so what we will do, we will sit idle. And what about our studies? Our studies cannot stop, right? So we need to go ahead with the studies. So without wasting much of our time, let us start with the very first chapter of geography for this new academic session, chapter one, the earth in the solar system. Have you ever watched the sky after the sunset? First, you will notice two, three dots. Soon, this number of dots will go on increasing. And now you cannot count them. Soon the whole sky is filled with these dots, these shiny, tiny objects which are bright and some of them are dim. Along with these shiny, tiny objects, you can also see another object that is a moon. Now you can see that the whole sky is filled with shiny tiny objects like diamonds. Like as we've read in the poem, twinkle twinkle little stars shining like a diamond in the sky. So these are small stars which are shining in the night sky along with moon. Now you may question that why can we only see the stars and moons only at the night sky. Why can't we see them during the daytime? Because of the sunlight. Because of the bright light of the sun, we cannot see the stars and the moons. They do not disappear anywhere. They are there only in the sky. Only because of the bright light of the sun, we cannot see them. Now, the stars, these moons, what are this? These are natural objects. These are the heavenly bodies or the natural objects that can be seen in the universe. You can see all these objects in the sky, like the stars, the moon, the planets, all can be termed as the celestial bodies. So, what are celestial bodies? Celestial bodies or heavenly bodies are the natural objects in the universe or in the space, like the stars, moon, planets. And why can't we see moon and stars during the daytime why we can only see them in the night sky because of the bright light of the sun these two stars and moons these two are the only celestial bodies that can be visible and they are shining in the night sky and we can see them with our naked eyes now, what are stars? These diamonds in the sky. Stars are the celestial bodies which are big and hot. These stars are made up of gases and the stars have their own heat and light. The stars do not revolve around any object, any celestial body or any natural object. They are fixed at their places. Stars are twinkling, like they always give a flickering light. So we call them twinkling stars. Sun is a star. Sun is an example of star. Now you may ask that why stars appear so small, so tiny, like looks like tiny dots. Because they are far away from us. But as a star, why we can see sun as so large? Because sun is closer to us. So it appears large to us. But these this stars that we can see in the night sky are very far away from us. That is why we can only see them as tiny dots in the sky. So what are stars? Stars are celestial bodies which are big and hot. They are made up of gases and have their own heat and light. And they twinkle in the night sky. Now we will go ahead with some patterns that are formed by the stars. Now let us go ahead with the various patterns formed by the stars. We will notice in the night sky there are certain patterns formed by the stars. Like can you see this? 
question mark you can easily see this in the night sky we call this as shapto rishi seven sages so these are what these are patterns there are different patterns which are formed in the night sky they are called constellations so various patterns formed by the group of stars in the night sky are called constellations like shaptarishi which can you can easily see this you should actually see this in the sky that whether you can locate the shaptarishi or not like shaptarishi ursha major orion i think you people heard about zodiac signs like libra aquarius gemini all this are constellations so what are constellations various patterns formed by the group of stars like ursha major orion big bear shapta rishi which can you easily locate in the night sky so all are referred as constellation in the night sky you can also locate dhruva tara that we call pole star which is located always in the north she is always located in the north suppose this here i am seeing and from here if you will see right at the top right at the north we are located in, in the northern hemisphere where we stay we are in the northern hemisphere so as you will see in the north from the northern hemisphere right at the north the north star which is fixed at a one at one place that is known as the pole star so what is a pole star a north star which is fixed in its position that is always in the north always can be seen in the north during the ancient time when there was no compass when there was no google map there was no other means of technology then how the sailors they used to find the route they used to find the route with the help of this pole star they used to find the direction that north pole star means the north direction by by actually locating the pole star they used to locate the north direction so what we learned as of now we learned about the celestial bodies we learned about the stars we learned about the constellations and we learned about the pole star now let us go ahead with another celestial object or celestial body that is planets now, now what are planets let us go ahead with planets planets are also some celestial bodies but these celestial bodies are smaller so we can see celestial bodies that are smaller than stars this is my sun which is a star and we can see around the sun this planets revolve this planets do not have their own heat and light so we can say do not have their own heat and light they actually reflect the light of the star the closest or the nearest star to that planet for example our earth our earth do not have its own heat and light our earth is a planet so how the earth reflects the light whose light the earth reflects the earth reflects the light of the nearest star that is sun now the planets revolve around the sun in a fixed path you can see this is a fixed path elongated or elliptical path we call it elongated or elliptical path 
this path is known as orbit so all the planets revolve around the sun in their own orbit now the planets as they do not have their own heat and light so they reflect the light of the star which is nearest to that planet there are eight planets in our solar system how many planets are there eight planets are there in our solar system the word planet came from a greek word planetai what does this mean i said that planets are not fixed at the position they revolve around the sun in their own orbit so we can call them as wanderers so planet came from the word planetai which means wanderers which means wanderers can you just help me out with the example of planets earth is a planet mercury mars jupiter saturn uranus all this are example of planets you will see there are some planets which are closer to earth and there are some planets which are away from the sun so what we can see there are some planets you will see that there are some planets which are closer to the sun and there are some planets who are very far away from the sun so what we learned what are planets celestial bodies that are smaller than stars they do not have their own heat and light they actually reflect the light of the nearest star for example earth it reflects the light of the nearest star that is the sun it revolves around the sun in a elliptical fixed path which we call orbit planet came from a greek word planetai which means wanderers and there are eight planets in our solar system now let us go ahead with the definition of solar system as i said there are eight planets in the solar system now what is solar system this is a solar system solar the word solar is related to sun that means the system which is formed by the sun along with the eight family that is eight planets and the asteroids the meteoroids form the solar system so in the solar system we can see there is a sun and there are eight planets which are located at a distance away from the sun these are the asteroids and there are meteoroids we will go with the definition of asteroids and meteoroids in the next videos so this is called a solar system today what we learned we learned the what are stars what are celestial objects what are planets what are constellations what are um what is solar system and also we learned that what is a pole star in the next video we will go ahead with the next part of the chapter i hope so all of you understood if you have any problem contact me in the whatsapp group as you all know thank you for the day